Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to attempt to do some sort of tutorial of how to get the PlayStation 4 controller to work on Tomb Raider 2 off of Steam. So this is for the Steam version of Tomb Raider. So this won't work for Origin or anything else. I don't know what else you get this game on, but um, yeah. So this was requested for by Nathan, so I'm hoping this will get it working for you. This is what I did personally, but I can't guarantee that it will work. I just kind of did it by just randomly changing the settings until it worked. Um, I couldn't find any tutorials on YouTube myself or any Google help really. Um, so I did struggle getting it to work. I got there in the end, so hopefully this might work for you. If not, but I will give it a go. So of course first of all you need the game off of Steam which is what I've got here. Um, I do also want to point out before I get into it if you click on the guide section um, there are various posts here which may help you out um, if you're troubleshooting with anything. Obviously if my tutorial doesn't work um, Sorry, the uh, cat was sneezing. I was a bit confused with what was going on. Anyway, um, yeah, so there are various fixes here. It's so if my tutorial doesn't work for you, it'd be worth looking and reading through these, see if anyone else can help you out. Um, one thing I did use though was, I think it's on this one here, um, I have this DG Voodoo thing installed, which I think improves the graphics slightly for, for the game. But I'm not going to go into how I did that. This should be plenty of explanation in it and then also comments here if you do get stuck. Right so I'm hoping I can figure this out so I would open Steam first before you plug your controller in so I've got Steam open here so I will then plug in my controller and Steam should recognize it. There we go. Um, so I normally just close this for now. So once you've got your controller plugged it in Again, I can't exactly remember everything that I did to get this working, but I'll, I'll try and go through what I think should help. So if you go to your Tomb Raider on Steam, right click, click properties, um, and then press the controller option. These are the settings that I've got set. Now, I'm pretty sure someone somewhere did suggest to disable the Steam input. I don't actually know if this had an effect or not, but if it still doesn't work after this, potentially try um, disabling that, I think. I think I have it disabled. You know what, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a professional guide person, as you can see. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> to be fair, I think what the main fix for me was, if you again come down to here, right click on Tomb Raider, down to manage and then controller configuration, that should bring up here. So when I first came to this, I automatically obviously went to click on all the individual ones and I went from all and pressed the buttons as I went along. So um, for the square button, I came and pressed square, triangle, you know, I, I did all of that. And then when I got into the game, certain buttons were working, but not all of them. So I can't remember what it looks like when you first come to this page before you've changed anything. Maybe it looks like this, I'm not actually sure. If it does, then great. Um, I think what I actually ended up doing, because I'd messed with it and changed all my settings and I couldn't get it back to how it originally was, I pressed on Browse Configs here, and then I clicked on Community, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure I'm using this one. PS1 controls for DS4 simplified by third player. Um, you click on this, I'm pretty sure that's how I have it when I looked. I will double check. So once you've applied these controllers, select done. Now the only thing I did change on mine, however, um, oh, I don't know if I'm wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure when I used to play it, the look button was using the L1 and the walk was the R1. Now that is the opposite way around on these current settings. Again, if you prefer it like that, then fair enough, just leave it. Um, but if you are changing any of the settings around, keep them all as they are and just make sure you keep a note of what you're changing them to. So if I want to swap these two over, I need to have look 
as keypad zero but on this side so I can't press the L1 on my controller because I'm pretty sure that just for some reason it just doesn't work and when you press the button nothing will happen. I don't know why. It's weird. It's silly and stupid and I don't like it. So I come here, I'll click on here and instead I will, you can either type it in I think or I think you can just press it which I've done there. And obviously now I've got two buttons that are the same which I don't want so I'll click on this. So I think we need right shift, which is what it said it originally was, because that button isn't working. And let's press listen for key. See, it says right bumper, but as you can see, when I originally did it, it was right shift, I believe. We don't want this because it won't work. So I'll click on this again. I'm sure it was right shift. And if all else fails, I guess you could pause this screen right now and hopefully try and copy these settings. Um, and hopefully it'll work. Um, but anyways, yes, once you've finished all you have done in here, if you just press done. Um, this does also have, once you click on here, I think it has a launch configuration. Um, when you go to controller, mine's blank, but I think that's because it's inputted through Steam, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure when I did have something in here originally, it didn't work anyway, so... Um, I wouldn't worry about this too much for now, unless obviously this isn't working, then you may need to try and mess around with something else, a few of the other settings. Anyway, so I will just check that this has actually worked for me now that I've messed around with it. Hopefully I haven't broken the game. So I will just load from where I last left off, which was on here. So here I am, so hopefully it's all working. I can't draw my weapons because I don't have any weapons on this level. Um, but square for jump, circle for roll, moving around. I think you can also use the joystick if you really want to, but I don't know how you'd play this using this, honestly. It's so awkward. Obviously I've changed my walk, so it's R1, and I've used my look as the L1. That's just because that's what I'm used to. Um, yes, you can climb up pressing it professional uh, tutorialist here but yeah so that's what I have done to get this working um, there are a few funny things actually I think this button for me the share button now makes a draw flares obviously you can change that I don't really use it I, I think I pressed it accidentally one day and was like oh that's how you do that but it's something useful the start button here options button that's how I get the menu up now I'm pretty sure I used to be able to press circle to get off this, but it's not working. Um, but if we just press it again, it comes off, so, you know, it's not really too hard. Um, and then left and right triggers. Spell it. So hopefully that helps anyone who's maybe having a bit of bother with this. Like I said, I really, really do think the main reason wasn't working for me or the buttons were a bit funny was because I was trying to get these to match the buttons and for some reason that wasn't working. So I really hope that helps anyone. Um, I hope it helps you Nathan. Again obviously if it doesn't work for you my apologies this is what worked for me. There are uh, plenty of help guides if you go through the guide section and the even the discussion section. I think people are People post things in there, I think, so hopefully someone can help out in there. It was very awkward to set up, so I understand anyone's frustration. Um, so far, it's all working for me, the settings that I have used. I mean, I might get to the end of the game yet, and it might just stop working. I have had some controller malfunctions, as if anyone's seen my last one uh, in the Opera House level. I don't know if I'm triggering it or what, but sometimes the walk sideways button's been getting stuck and then she won't stop walking sideways until I I end up having to exit the game, unplug my controller, replug it in and start again. That's the only fix I've found for that. Other than that, I hope this helps. I'm just about to start another Tomb Raider video recording now, so I will probably see you in that one. Thanks for watching. Bye!